Okay, so hello everyone. So welcome again to our Financial Solutions Today okay, seminar. So we will continue our study about retirement plan. Okay, so uh, please, if you if this is your first time to watch, so make sure that you watch the the part one. Okay, so earlier, so we posted it in our in the YouTube here in the YouTube as in our financial solutions today YouTube channel as well as in our financial solutions today Facebook page. Okay, <clears throat> so earlier we just learned about the simple steps in retirement planning. Although it may look simple, but we know that it's not that easy. Okay? Especially yung involved na amount dito. No? But we already learned that uh, we have to identify the time and the amount needed for retirement. So kailangan, alam natin kailan tayo magre-retire. At yung amount then determine, make sure that you compute how much money you need, eliminate all kinds of debt, you save and invest, and identify where you want to live. So right now, let's continue our study about retirement. So here in LSA, we design a retirement program, and we are so grateful that we'll be able to uh, easily make the computation Okay, through with the use of this well calculator. Okay, so uh, if you have watched the, the other video or the other training in retirement, so we our example natin kanina is uh, 30 years old ka. Yeah? So 30 years old, let's say you are 30 years old, then Magre-retire ka at the age of 50. So meaning you still have 20 years. Assuming, okay, ito naman I estimate, assuming na ang kailangan mo ay, let's say, kasi you, need, you will need 20 years to retire. So assuming ang kailangan mo ay 6.4 million. So meaning, dapat ngayon pa lang, nag-iipon ka na ng 7,000 a month. Okay? So ngayon, ang tanong is, how are we going to determine what is the how much is the retirement? Okay, what is how much what's the amount needed for your retirement? So maggagawa tayo ng mga series of computation. Okay? So we have said that ang sabi natin kanina is una Okay, ulitin natin ano? You will determine the time. So retire age what? So let's say you will retire at age 50. So your current age is 30. So you still have number uh, you still have 20 years to plan or prepare. Okay, so with the identify, the next is, as, I, as we have discussed, that retirement is all about maintaining your lifestyle. It's all about lifestyle maintenance. So meaning, kailangan alam natin what kind of life, what kind of life ang nakikita mo when you retire. Okay? Anong gagawin mo? So, meaning, first and foremost, for sure, kailangan yung basic mo dyan. Ano? What are the basic expenses? So, we have to compute. So, most likely, so, yung food, food, clothing, or whatsoever that uh, you need to, alam nyo kasi yung lifestyle maintenance, hindi lang din, pag ganyang retirees ka na, most likely hindi na lang yan din para sa sarili mo. No? Uh, kasi pagdating mo ng edad na yan, baka may apo ka na, 
So, kailangan mo rin spoil yung apo mo. So, marami ka na kinocompute na gasas dito. Sabihin na lang natin, pati yung mga diapers, gatas, so groceries. So, hindi ka naman porky magre-return eh, para sa sarili mo lang. No? So, let's say, uh, we can use the computation for para maging uh, accurate. No? Yun today, magkano ba ang gasas mo ngayon? Let's say, ang gasas mo ngayon sa groceries ay uh, although pagdating mo ng pagre-return mo, most likely, mas bababa na siya kasi yung mga anak mo, may asawa na yan, may sarili ng pamilya, So, most likely, ikaw na lang or your spouse or your apo. So, sabihin na lang natin na we will just alam. This is, an, this is a computation of, as, this is your basic expenses, assuming that you retire in 2022, this year. So, groceries mo, 5,000. Medicine mo, okay, if you're a little healthy, is 5,000. Then, ang pinaka-usual na nilulook forward mo sa when you retire is travel. So, how much money you will allocate? Let's say you will allocate you, your expenses $10,000 okay, for your travel. Okay, because you want to visit a lot of places. No? So, assuming that ito lang muna na tatlo lang. So, $20,000 per month ang gasos mo with your basic expenses no so for 2022 okay so 20,000 multiplied by 12 so ibig sabihin that is around 240,000 we also discussed that the computation here used in in your current situation right now kinukuha mo yung panggasos mo dyan based on your income. But when you retire, it means that wala ka ng income. So meaning, you have to compute for what we call income replacement. So in, in my computation, you need to at least provide yourself 10 years Okay, so meaning kung magre-retire ka ngayon, dapat meron ka ng, meron ka ng uh, enough amount okay, na pag sinay mong income replacement is the money working for you. Or in short, you have a passive income here and your passive income is equivalent to 10 years. 10 years of what you are earning right now or 10 years of your total expenses. So meaning that's 2.4 million. Question is, do we have 2.4 million right now if you retire today? Okay. So if you retire today, then you can retire. So that's why kung uh, ngayon, Ibig sabihin pala, you can retire at age 30. So as we have discussed earlier that na retirement has nothing to do with age. Is your, what's the word? Capability. Okay? But realistically, we know that not, able, not everybody is capable. So make, hold on to this figure, 2.4 million. Ayan, so your retirement fund, retirement fund is 2.4 million. That is if you retire at 2022. But since you will retire in 20 years, 20 years ka pa mag-retire. So yung gastos mo na yan na 2.4 million, hindi, yan, hindi na yan sasapat. Why? Because we have this, what we call inflation. The value of our money, okay, always decreases. No? So, meaning, if, ano bang inflation rate natin? Inflation rate natin is 
for the last 20 years is 6 to 8 percent. So let's just use 8 percent inflation rate. Okay. So using the rule of 72, 72 divided by 8, so meaning you, the value of your money doubles every nine years. So at 2031, hindi na 2.4 million yan, it's 4.8 million. At 20, 2040, it's already 9.6 million. So let's say will work at 9.6. So, ito ang kailangan mong retirement, 9.6 million in 20 years. Okay? So, medyo, ang, kaya tuloy yung mga iba ayaw na magplano dahil parang it looks impossible for me to raise 9.6 million in 20 years. Yes, it may look impossible if we don't plan. Okay? And that's the purpose why we are doing this because we need to prepare. We need to make sure that everybody understands their direction in terms of retirement. No? So let's see. Let's see our chances no? of making it. So balikan natin yung kanina natin. Okay, balikan natin yung well calculator natin. So 9.6 ang kailangan natin 9.6 million in how many years? 20 years. So, dito tayo. 9.6 million. So, ito siya. Let's say, dito na lang tayo approximately. Meron pa kulang 500,000. So, later on, pag talaga we will compute the exact amount, kung gusto mo makuha yung exact amount, i-download mo lang itong easy calculator. And it's a very powerful app that will give you an accurate okay uh, exact amount of computation so for the sake of time and for the sake of uh, maintindihan niyo lang ang direction so ibig sabihin kailangan mo mag-save ng 10,000 per month in the next 20 years question anong mas madaling isipin 9.6 million or 10,000 pesos or let's say in a pair of isipin. Okay? Ano madaling isipin? Okay, yung 9.6 million o yung 36 o yung uh, 10,000 pesos. Syempre ito, pero still if you ask people, can they save 10,000 pesos a month? So, 'Yun ang problema, no? Pero kung hindi mo pa kaya yung 10,000, at least man lang may mapagsimulan ka. Halimbawa, magsisimula ka muna sa 1,000. So at least, yung 1,000 mo, after 20 years, may isang million ka. Pero not because, but kaya ka lang may pagsisimula, para at least maintindihan mo na kahit pa paano may nagagawa ka. No? And also, it will help you form the habit. Okay? In terms of your retirement. So, let's say, ang kaya mo lang is 1,000. So, magkano ang balance mo? 10 times 10,000 minus 1,000 yung 9,000. So what will you do? Yung 9,000 na yan, you will find a way to increase your cash flow. So you have to look for an additional income that will give you 9,000 pesos a month so that you can hit your retirement uh, amount no, that you need in the next 20 years. Okay? So we will have we will have more trainings about this retirement program so make sure that you tune in okay with all our trainings so very short lang yung ginagawa natin training para at least madali nyo siya ma-absorb if you have question just uh, type it in the comment section or you can message us in our uh, Facebook page sa messenger or you kung sino man yung nag-i-invite sa inyo mag-watch nito you can also ask them and I would really request everyone to keep on sharing this to other people so that everybody would learn these practical tips about retirement program. Okay? So keep on uh, uh, sharing. Okay, make sure you like. Okay, you, you click like and subscribe in our 
in our Facebook channel, in our, in our YouTube channel rather, YouTube channel, ang title ng YouTube channel natin is Financial Solutions Today. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. God bless everyone. See you on our next topic.